Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. This is Monster Jam OCD. Hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD review video. Today we are taking a look at the next Target exclusive Story 3 pack by Spin Master Monster Jam for 2022 and this is the Shake and Quake pack. This is the first time we're seeing a Dirt Squad vehicle replacing one of the 164 scale trucks. So as you can see the Scoops is right there. A very well known face now that it is a real life Monster Jam Dirt Crew vehicle, as well as a brand new exclusive El Toro Loco and a 124 scale Earthshaker matching the theme of the pack. I couldn't really say this is a versus pack because there's no villain dynamic, but uh, I'm still gonna make the actual thumbnail of the video a versus pack since this is kind of what they were before. So they kind of changed the dynamic a bit here. However, it's still the same where we get three items in one pack, two technically 164 scales, even though this is kind of a little bit bigger than 164 and a 124 scale for Target only. As you can see, it's got a pretty cool packaging layout here with the rocks. The Shake and Quake logo looks really cool. And you can see only at Target, we have that Ultra Loco up here, Scoops, which is a medical version, and the Earth Shaker. And then on the back of the box here, you can see the renderings of each truck and the Dirt Squad vehicle right there. And I'm going to unbox this and I'll be right back with the review of the pack, all the trucks together in just a moment. The Shake and Quake three pack for the story packs by Target and Spin Master Monster Jam. This is really cool. Of course, the main focus of this review will be the new El Toro Loco, but we're gonna start today's review with the 124 scale Earthshaker. It is pretty simple to talk about just because there's not a lot of different things going on from previous releases, but today we do have an Earthshaker with beige tires, and you can see we do have black BKT printing on the sidewalls with the yellow rims, a dark brown chassis with black shocks. It's actually kind of hard to see that those shocks are painted because it is a darker chassis, but there are black shocks with a dark brown chassis. And then we have this really cool header choice. It looks like rocks kind of ground up into the headers with this nice beige color. So you can see a bunch of different multicolored little flecks inside of the uh, headers here, kind of making this rocky appearance. I really like that on both sides. It does not have any sponsor panels, I'm assuming because it is an exclusive, but there is the earth shaker. The body is the same as usual. It's a little dusty because I've had this sample laying around for a while, but here it is, earth shaker, same body as usual with the dirt in the back of the bed. A really cool 124 scale casting and is coming back for this Target Story 3 pack. So this would usually be the antagonist of the pack or the bad guy. I don't really know if you want to call it that just because this is not really a story pack as they were before, but here it is nonetheless, the Earthshaker 124 scale, the big release of it for this pack. And then we have the first face of a Dirt Squad member in a story pack, which is the Scoops. And Scoops this time is a medical edition of the original truck or Dirt Squad vehicle. As you can see, it does have the red cross on the side on this printed area and this side as well with the Dirt Squad logo and the Monstrum logo on this side. It is a red body with the front scooper with red on the plastic and then we have white and black striping for the caution tape, yellow eyes, gray rims, black tires, a white roll cage, and a black chassis. So there is scoops. Of course, you can use this with your Dirt Squad vehicles and monster dirt for your tracks. This time, of course, like I said, it is a medical version of this release of this Dirt Squad vehicle scoops here. So it's really cool to see scoops getting some recognition in a big pack like this. Scoops, like I mentioned before, is part of the real life circuit now. Actually a tow vehicle for when trucks crash on the track. So this has gained a lot of popularity and has become a real life event attraction. So there is scoops from this pack in red looks really cool with the red and white scheme. Probably my favorite scoops yet. And then of course we have the actual focus of the pack, which is another exclusive, just like Scoops is because of the graphics. This is a completely different El Toro Loco than we have seen before. And this is the second edition of an Earth El Toro Loco. The reason I say that is because of course this year in the Walmart series, we did have an official Earth versus Surf Earth El Toro Loco, and it was this yellow El Toro Loco with the magma. But honestly, this looks much better than the actual release of the Earth vs. Surf El Toro Loco because it makes more sense. It's still El Toro Loco, but it is an earthy tone. Now, if they did these graphics on this brown body, I think it would have been perfect. 
And that's my argument. Of course, opinions may vary, but anyway, two releases of an Earth style Ultra Loco, uh, one officially as an Earth truck, one as an exclusive Earth toned edition of Ultra Loco. So here it is with the brown earth tires, or I should say beige earth tires with dark brown rims, a dark brown roll cage, and that same rocky chassis color that we saw with the headers of Earthshaker. It's kind of hard to tell, but those rocky flecks are also inside the actual chassis of this truck. Then we have a matte brown finish for this El Torloco body with the standard El Torloco graphics. You can see we have the flames, the El Torloco logo, Moss Jam, the teeth, the tail lights, MossJam.com, and the tailgate going on there. The same stuff on this side, chin hairs, the flames, the nose ring, and then the horns in a beige color. The only thing I don't like is that they didn't print the actual uh, flames or whatever they add for whatever release it is of an El Toro Loco on the tips of the horns. It kind of reminds me of actually Bulldozer, so I guess I like it, but I also wish they would have done maybe a dark brown on the tips of the horns. But it does remind me a lot of that release of Bulldozer back in Hot Wheels Monster Jam era with the brown body called the Brown Bulldozer. It reminds me a lot of that with this scheme now as El Toro Loco. So there is El Toro Loco, the exclusive of the pack for 164 scale Monster Jam trucks. And then of course, like I mentioned, the exclusive Dirt Squad vehicle, Medical Scoops for this pack as well. And if you wanna consider an exclusive, we have the earth toned uh, 124 scale earth shaker with that chassis and the BKTs. I really like the headers though. That's kind of the main focus of this piece itself. But I think most people will be buying it for El Toro Loco, the earth, uh, second earth edition, I should say for this year. But I love that chassis. It looks like rocks inside the dirt. And this is a really cool release. So a quick little review, not much to talk about, but it's a cool new release coming to Target very soon to replace or add to the DC pack from last year with Harley Quinn joker and the 124 scale batman so you'll probably be seeing these soon on your target shelves and i hope you guys check it out for yourselves and let me know in the comments what you guys think about this new pack i will see you guys next time this is reiner monster mocd signing out